So just a little bit of theory before I get back to working on my bellows as I build this uh, John Smith Busker organ I'm trying to learn something about the functioning of a mechanical uh, uh, instrument and uh, I've understood now that the particularity of the John Smith uh, busker is that a paper roll with holes in it passes through a pressurized air box and when there's a hole in the paper roll air from the pressurized box goes through a, a tube into the flute whereas larger mechanical organs French ones in particular and I think probably fairground organs use a system of valves and I've made a, a valve here just to, to learn the process myself a membrane valve it's uh, uh, called uh, uh, here and uh, it works quite differently because uh, here there's a co constant supply of air that goes towards uh, the pipe but that constant supply is closed off by uh, the uh, valve and uh, the valve is operated by a little uh, tube and when the tube is opened the valve opens and air goes to make the flute a sound and of course what opens and closes this tube here is the a paper roll so no need for a pressurized box and the valve is relatively simple this is a, a, a large and coarse version of uh, an apparatus that could be much finer the top part of the a valve consists of an oval chamber one hole from the top of the chamber to the exterior otherwise the rest of the chamber is closed the bottom part of the valve consists of a hole that runs uh, vertically through the block I've stuck some plastic piping in there to give an, an, an arrival an air arrival the second hole runs halfway through the block and in this case turns at a right angle so that it can go off to the flute and then the last part of the uh, valve is a membrane uh, this piece of rubber but generally you'd use a fine leather uh, membrane the whole of which goes over the center of the hole of the air arrival and then uh, the chamber would sit on top and what happens with this is that uh, if I close the top valve so paper running over with no hole in it air constantly comes through the arrival goes through the membrane into the upper chamber where pressure will build up because pressure is building up in that upper chamber it will press down on the exit part blocking the air access to the flute but if I have that valve sealed and I open uh, the uh, top because papers passed by there's been a hole then what happens is that there'll be a leak air will come to the membrane a certain amount of uh, air will leak out through this hole and that will relax and reduce the pressure in the chamber at top enabling uh, the uh, a valve uh, membrane to extend and the air to pass beneath the membrane into this hole down out and to element the flute so in a large fairground organ or system this uh, uh, a valve controls air being sent uh, to the flute whereas on our John Smith busker the air produced by the bellows that I'm building uh, will send air to a pressurized box or container from which uh, it will go then direct to the flutes in the instrument and there it is uh, working the valve and its membrane